Hi everyone, this is Danny from the Women and Gender Institute. I am the program coordinator for the Young Women's Leadership Program and the Gender Peace and Security Program. I joined the Women and Gender Institute as far back as when I was still a student back in 2015 or 16 in Miriam College. And right out of college, Wagi acquired me as one of their research associates and I've been with them ever since. Upcoming projects include partnerships with a number of funders that you may already know, such as the European Union, uh, the Norwegian Training Center, and a couple um, more. Wagi means win in Tagalog. And I think this really captures what we are striving to achieve as an institution. We believe that in a society where both genders are equal, it's a win-win situation for everyone. And for those skeptical of our advocacy as Wagi, we would like for you to understand that women's empowerment, gender equality, and feminism aren't about being anti-men, anti-masculinity, it's not a war of the sexes. This is about respecting human rights, respecting that everyone, regardless of your differences, has the right to exercise and uphold their human rights. It's about respecting those differences and acknowledging that our differences actually make us stronger. Wagi's tagline is Filipino, faithful, and feminist. This is also something we would like Filipinos in particular to understand that being feminist doesn't collide or is contradictory to what it means to be a Filipino and faithful. In fact, you know, love is what faith preaches and that is what we, the approach that we take as well. And as a message for the youth, don't stop. Don't stop raising your voices. Don't stop making spaces for yourselves. Don't stop engaging in conversations. I think that's really important, especially at this time in political climate. It's very frustrating to deal with skeptics, to deal with individuals who may not believe in the same things that we do even though they are respect for human rights respect for differences but we have to keep the conversation going we cannot afford to stop engaging people and if we want to engage them effectively i would tell you to talk to people in a way that they would understand speak their language approach the discussion in a way that they can relate to and understand so don't stop keep going because there's no one else but us for the future Ten years from now, I still hope to be doing what I'm doing today, but also to see that more and more women and men have joined the this journey, this fight for fight for to dismantle patriarchy, to change sexism, um, to open more spaces that will allow equal opportunities for women and other marginalized groups. And you know, something I also want people to understand is that. Being part of what Wagi does, being part of this advocacy, you don't even have to be part of Wagi to do it. You know, you can start every day, you know, make small changes in your language, use more inclusive language, continue engaging in conversation with your peers, with your family, call out, you know, subtle sexism that people have you know are so used to hindi na nila nakita ito as sexism so call people out correct them 
um, and you know convert more individuals change their minds and let them know na this movement that we have as wagi the what we fight for the work that we do is not anti-men it's not anti-masculinity so change their minds and you know those little efforts that we do on a day-to-day have a bigger impact in the long run compared to just a one-time big time project so i really i you know i invite everyone um to be part of this change of this movement it doesn't have to be big it honestly that it's the little things in your everyday lives that make the biggest difference and 10 years from now i hope you know we get to see those little things in your everyday reflected in society as a whole Here in MCTV, we got you covered. covered.